This color grading trick will definitely blow your mind, okay? Check this out. This was actually done with a simple loads. Normally when you want to color grade your video and you don't want to start everything from scratch, you want things to be easier for you, there's a simple trick to use which is applying a load to your video. Okay, normally when you apply loads, you don't have much room to make changes to your video. Rather, you just have to decrease or increase the intensity depending on your video and the look you are actually going for. Okay, loads is just a lookup table which simply tells this color to look like this and this like this, okay? So, I actually, when I was editing my recent short film, I didn't want to color grade it from scratch because I had um, so many things on my decks and I'm the one doing everything by myself. So I downloaded a load from a website. When I applied this load, I tried playing with the intensity, but it's not actually giving me the look I actually had in mind for the film. Okay, so I actually stumbled upon this idea. Okay, so I will show you that in a minute, okay? Let's get into it. And by the way, my name is Johnson W. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so to enable me make more of this video, okay? And give this video a thumb up if you like it. So let's dive into Premiere Pro. So here I have Adobe Premiere Pro fired up already and we have a new project window open here. And I have my clip here, so which I will drag quickly to my timeline. Okay. So normally what you do is select the clip and move over to your Lumetri Color. Under Creative, you select um, the load you are going for okay in this case i used um orange and blue okay so i'll quickly click on this so you see it's looking very it's very hard on my clip and um not really giving me the vibe and the look that i'm actually needing and i tried changing the intensity okay i tried changing this and the look of the thing is not just going well okay so i stumbled upon this trick it's very simple so let me quickly undo this okay so i have this clip so the idea the, the the trick is very simple okay all you have to do is depending on what you want to you can actually apply this on this particular clip but if you have multiple clips i suggest you follow this step i'm using okay so move over here and create a new adjustment layer okay click okay then drag it over the top of the video Now extend it to the end. Now with the adjustment layer selected, move over to your Lumetri panel and under basic, we are going to do something because normally lookup table is actually created for log clips, okay? The clip is very desaturated and um, of less or uh, low, very low contrast, okay? But normally when you have um, your DSLR and uh, mirrorless cameras, you most of them don't have that uh, log file. So we are going to play with two things here. Okay, first one is um, <coughs> we'll be playing with the contrast and the saturation. So quickly, you have to reduce this contrast all the way to minus 100. And under saturation, we'll have to make this saturation maybe 50 or so. So now is our clip here is already looking more like a log file, a log footage. Okay, so now the very simple step we already done with this is to create another adjustment layer okay and and drag this on top of everything and extend it to the end with the top adjustment layer selected move over to your lumetri and under creative then we look for our load orange and blue yes we have it and boom that was it that was how i collaborated my short film okay so you look how cool this is how cool this is so depending on what you are going for you can go back to the first adjustment layer and maybe make some changes maybe increase the contrast if you want or decrease anyhow you want you're done yes you are you're finished you're finished okay so one more thing maybe if you want to throw your all your um anamorphic bars or um aspect ratio bar whatever you call it so select the top adjustment layer once again and then go to effect and crop search for crop and apply the crop on top of the adjustment layer and you can see nothing changes okay but you can quickly move over to your effect control panel and move all the way down and you'll see crop okay then select the top and 
maybe add 13 then the bottom 13 and there you have it okay so thank you very much for watching this tutorial most of us don't know this trick and if you already know it you're the best and if you don't know it you're welcome please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of this video and to help me make more of this content give this video a thumb up if you like it and drop your comments in the comment section i will definitely see you next time johnson bye